since I've found out that I have dyslexia. Can we just play in the playground uh -huh. first? I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Let's see what I can play on. The whole going and being assessed, as much as that was freaking the shit out of me, I'm so happy I did it. When I'm talking to other folk, when I say, yeah, I've been assessed and I'm dyslexic, so many people go, did you go and do that? Jesus. I'd always wanted to, but too afraid. Exactly how I'm feeling. It's quite a, a, a tough time and tough decision for a lot of folk, but it's the best thing I ever did. Now I know I'm dyslexic, I feel like I can tackle things I was previously afraid of. I think without a shadow of a doubt, the assessment has given me a good drive forward to say, actually, got a small problem, but guess what? We can get over it. Funny enough, I'm quite looking forward to Billy coming home from school with homework that I've got to help her with, because it's also a new way for me to, to get stuck in and learn, something I would never, ever do as a grown man in a night class. But however, having a daughter is certainly something I can concentrate on, and it's, it's, it's going to be good. I'm much more positive about my dyslexia, and I've come to see how Jenny's feeling. Now she's completed her finals. How you doing, darling? Yeah, you all right? You? Good to see you. Thank you. How do you think you did your exams? The first exam, I panicked a bit. And did you? Yeah. When I was reading over it, I could see that all these spelling mistakes, and it just looked like a 12-year-old work. Right. But then um, I spoke to the university, and they gave me a laptop to take my last two exams on. OK, so you actually took those steps forward? Yeah. Then. I think you kind of showed me, especially when we're in the library, and um, you know, you just said go to the help information, desk. information yeah. desk. I think I just kind of realised I can get help and I can do better. That's nice to hear. It was amazing. I mean, the first exam I took on it, it was just I came out and I was like beaming. So how do you think you've done? Um, I have no idea. I. It's hard for me to tell. I'm pretty positive I passed. I'll be happy passing. I'll be happy just getting the degree. But if I get a two one, it'll be like you know, and a massive achievement yeah. for me. So, just fingers crossed that I actually did that. No, good on you. Really good on you. I don't want people to see dyslexia as something negative, so I've returned to Lockyer School with Jenny, where they're having a Dyslexia Awareness Day. <laughs> Dr Kate Saunders from the British Dyslexia Association is here to spread the word that dyslexia is much more common than we think. One in ten people is dyslexic. That's a lot more than most people think. So, how do you overcome dyslexia? Well, two things to say about it. First of all, always believe in what you're good at. And the second thing is, never give up. And thank you for being so very good in this school about being dyslexia friendly. Well done to you. Kate has an exercise for the kids to show that it's important for dyslexic children not to hide their struggles. We're going to have some flags that are yellow and they will represent the one in ten of the dyslexics. Can you hold up we your have flag? Some, I've some, 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 some of them have been made with the yellow pages paper, but they're not that different, are they? The important thing to understand about dyslexics is that there are some things that they're really good at, but they do learn in a different way. So we have to respect everybody in the way that they learn. One of the biggest things I've learned on this journey is that it's much easier to put your hand up and ask for help than to try and conceal your struggles. I've been lucky in life, I've been very blessed in life, but without a doubt it could have been different. And I've met people on this way who haven't had these opportunities that I've had. And maybe if they have had a, put their hand up and said, look, I need a bit of help here. Don't be in such a sticky situation. When you do it, you'll be so much better for it. If you are dyslexic, I want you to feel confident to be able to put your hand up to ask for help, okay? So can I see everybody put their hands up to ask for help? <laughs> well done. Very good. I'm absolutely delighted I embarked on this journey. It has been an eye-opener. It has been great to talk to people from all walks of life. And I have got a lot from it. 
to anyone who feels any stigma attached to being, oh, I'm dumb, I've lived in them shoes, and it ain't, it's not nice. But coming out the other side of that and, and actually being assessed is a massive weight off your shoulders. I didn't think I needed it. As a successful man, I didn't think I needed it. And it still has done a lot for me. So don't be ashamed. Go out there and, and find out for yourself. Gareth Thomas reveals his secret past in